All right, we're about to swap this battery out. It's on one of these deli cooler cases. Um, we got blue and red. And this one's got some yellow, some black and white. First thing I'm gonna do is cut my power in. Um, got my switch off, uh, which I, light bulbs, we don't have a complete circuit, but on the back side, there's more amps and bolts coming out than the inside. So I just cut my wire. And your white and your black wire is always your power. Use uh, something with rubber handle, obviously. There's some old stuff here. Do I even use that stuff anymore? All right. So I got my power cut. Um, we are going to cut. These are from the ballast. So for now, we'll just cut them. And we'll call them the negatives because they're hooked to both the bottom and top light bulb. If you'll notice, the white goes here. Yellow's going to run up and, and go through the bottom. Um, same way with these here. Blue ones, cut them. All right. And then we got our red here, which is one line. And I mean two lines, excuse me. Got them cut. Got the blues cut. Got your yellows cut. I got the yellows cut somewhere. All right. Dang mess in this one. Okay, now I need to get the ballast out. Make sure when you're doing this, you got a ground wire there. Uh, make sure that gets back in there, which do not look like they did very well. Definitely didn't go around the bolt. But uh, So we're going to pull that out now. And I'm actually going to have to, on this particular unit, we're going to have to pull this plate off of here. There's a few screws, and then we'll pull it out. Uh, the new ballast doesn't fit in there, so we'll have to drill a hole and make it fit. So let's pull it out. All right. It was actually a piece of my screwdriver. I stuck the screwdriver in there and put it in my drill. All right, that looks to be all of them. Put them up here. pull this. This thing is like 30 pounds. Uh, we didn't get our ground wire. Okay, did get the ground wire off. This is something you kind of hate to see. One connector, two connectors, three connectors. We're not sure why that's going on. They've got it elsewhere too. Here's one, there's two. We're going to get rid of all these extra connections. Let's cause heat. I don't even know if they still make these. I'm going to look these up. That's just kind of cool and crazy all right so we've got our deal up there um i haven't tightened up one bolt because i've got this ground wire and let's see if we can do it and tighten up that deal up there either i'm gonna get this screw loose so i can get my ground wire in there and then uh we'll do the rest it's gonna take me a second all right we've got our ground wire hooked up um he's gonna be our negative wire uh, to our lamps. We've got one going to this lamp. This wire is going to go up to the case and We can either say it'll go to this side or the other side as this is a two-bolt system um, We have our what we'll call the uh, positive line over there on the red And so we'll do this as a negative um, You know probably the last electrician probably would have just wire tied them together. I'm going to cut these off and do it right uh, Got a lot of that crap going on in this particular unit of course, it's from the 40s. So, uh, here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll take this blue wire, connect it to both of those reds. We'll take this blue wire and connect it to these blues. And this red wire will connect to both of our, what we're going to call, grounds. And then your black and white, this particular one has a key switch. So this will be a uh, switch power on, and uh, or it could be ground either way. Um, and then this is our other main wire um, that goes to the white. White and black go to each other.
So pretty simple. Uh, we're going to rig it up and I'll show you. All right. Got all our wires hooked back up. And we are good to go. No more flickering. Done deal.